Hello there, it's the English Picker here. These are my picking finds, antique sale picking finds for this week. I went to a, quite a large antique sale. I uh, went both days. First day I went with a friend and we wandered around and then the second day I went on my own. I think I did a lot better the second day. Some ups and downs, you know, I thought I'd overpaid for stuff but there was a, a nice happy ending uh, as it turns out. So. Uh, I'll split this video up into several sections. Uh, the first section, I'll cover the coins, the majority of the coins that I picked up. The second section will be the first day, which is just here. And there is coins in amongst this as well. And then the third section will be this lot here, which is the second day. So first of all, I'll do the coins. I got a real good selection of interesting coins and uh, I'll uh, and uh, like a token thing the first thing I got on the first day I I splashed out on it was this uh, I just saw it and I've seen other ones like this and I thought I've got to have it uh, because it was a good price the guy got it priced at 65 pounds end up getting it for 60 which is around its melt um, it's a Jamaican $25 coin 1953 to 1978 25th anniversary of the coronation um, it's sterling silver and it weighs just over 3 ounces um, uh, no sorry just over 4 ounces it weighs so you know pretty good deal um, Comes with little certificate here. Uh, mintage is limited a maximum of twenty five thousand proof coins. They didn't actually make that many; they made less. And um, I've just seen, you know, people buy large silver, like five ounce hockey pucks, on um, on YouTube, and I wanted to get a big coin. So uh, yeah, it's, I think it's four and a bit ounces of silver. I can't remember off the top of my head. It's over a hundred grams. Um, so uh, I think it's like a hundred and I can't remember but yeah really cool I shall be keeping that one for myself and maybe sell it down the line uh, this isn't a coin but it's like a medallion uh, it's sort of um, along the same theme it's a uh, St. Benedict Catholic token thing medallion uh, I've seen these made in pewter before smaller ones but I've never seen them made so big it was three pounds. I took a chance on it, thinking it could be silver because the ping test was quite good. But I think it's silver plated. I've I've tested it, and it's a funny reaction. So it's either really low grade silver, or it's silver plated. So um, not too sure on that one. I'll put it online and and see. But it is a huge piece. It's over two inches wide. So uh, interesting nonetheless. Picked up this for a pound. A little uh, fifty percent silver threepence brooch. Not too bad. Uh, I'll go back to these two later, they're the star finds, but from one seller um, I got all of these coins here and I think it was a great deal, I, in total I paid £20 for all those lot, just here, and I'll go through what I got, I mean he got some of these at 50p each and he knew these were silver as well, so I got I got all these for £10 and I got all these for £10, so I'll go through what I got, so I got a... Um, a non-silver 1918 25 centime coin a one pengo from I have no idea where that's from 1927 I got a 1914 barber dime I got a 1937 Australian threepence in quite a nice condition actually I got a, nine, a 1937 Dutch uh, sorry, Swedish 10 euro. I've got a, a 5 cent coin from Canada from 1903 and it's got the heat and mint mark just below there. I haven't looked that one up yet but that could be a good good one. Uh, 10 cent from the Netherlands from 1938 and then we've got 1921, a 1921, a 1932, a 1934, a 1936, 1937 and a mint condition 1941 50% silver threepences so that's um, 
eight th eight threp inches there. We've got two fifty percent silver sixpences, a forty three and a forty one. And then we've got a nineteen seventeen, a nineteen twelve, and an eighteen ninety seven sterling silver threepence. And then we've got a nineteen I can't quite make this one out, but it's nineteen twenty something um florin, so it's a fifty percent silver florin. And then this is a an interesting find here. It's uh, a William and Mary, and it's um, really nice on this side. You make it out, and this side it's a bit grotty. Uh, but I can just make out it's sixteen ninety four, and if you look in the catalogue, uh, you've got sixteen ninety four there, and in fine it's worth eighty five pounds. So. I'd say you could conservatively ask £20 for this maybe, but I'll be keeping it add to my collection. And then um, the main thing was these ones here, which were an absolute steal. They knew they were a, a sort of a lower grade silver, but I've got, um, yeah, how many have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven forty percent silver Kennedy half dollars uh, for £10. And they typically on eBay sell for about three to four pounds each. So we've got two 1969s, we've got four 1968s, and a 1967. And some of the 68s are in real good condition, so they'll get added to the stack, which is always nice. Then these next two coins I got from a different seller. Uh, they um, they were priced at eight pounds each. Was I was a bit reluctant to pay, so I said how much for the pair. And the woman went down to twelve pounds for the pair, so that that's good. Uh, this first one is an eighteen fifty three um, large cent. It's a bit dinged up, but it's still good condition for a large cent uh, that you get in the UK. We don't tend to get many. If we do, the slicks. I'm going to be keeping this one because I actually haven't got this one, so. Uh, I shall be keeping that. Now this next one could be an absolute winner. Uh, this side it didn't look like much, just a bit of a grotty coin, but then I saw this dimple on the edge and it was described as 1770 question mark. It's actually 1774. But I recognise that thing there and there's no marks on the inside and this is actually a brockage because if you look on this side, you know, George is in real nice detail, but it's sort of off center because the top top of George's name has been cut off. And um let's see if I can I don't know if you can see there, there's the beginning of a J and the bottom of his shoulder, which is exactly the same as there. So this has gone in the press while another coin has been struck, I think, or I'm not too sure, but it's a mint error. Nonetheless, it's sort of double struck, but the other side is 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 blank. So um, not too sure. Really interesting though. So nice little mint error there. So there we go. Uh, not too sure on the value of that, but once again, I shall be keeping that. I'll probably end up selling uh, the Kennedys. Maybe it's a job lot on eBay, something like that. And uh, the rest will probably just go in the stack with the other pieces. So uh, stay tuned. There'll be some more videos coming out of some of these beauties and some of the, the weird and bizarre things that I've been buying. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all soon.